Visit ontabletop.com and comment on every day of the Bolt Action Bootcamp for your chance to win one of three awesome Bolt Action bundles. Hello everyone and welcome. It's day one here of the Bolt Action Western Desert Bootcamp. Everyone is already here getting stuck into the gaming. You can see loads of happy gamers uh, modeling their armies behind us. Now, I'm joined here by Charlie from Warlord. Hello, hello, hello. And John beside me. Guten Tag. Guten Tag. Uh, if you didn't already see our vlog earlier, Charlie has called John out for a rematch <laughs> that's going to be happening yeah. this Sunday. Uh, on our on our live stream, are you ready for a chat? Confident about that one. <laughs> uh, which army will you be taking? So I've got the British. So I've got myself um, the Desert Rats. Uh, so they're sort of the seventh armored uh, division, as it were. So yeah, looking forward to it. <laughs> Loads of early war, really bad British tanks. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, over you, you you gave us a German greeting. So I take it you're taking the Germans. Absolutely, I'm I'm a member of the Panzer Deutsche Afrikaner. Which was terrible German. <laughs> I, I, and you, you can't say that in a Pan calm voice, can you? Panzer Army Africa. There you go. That's as calm as it'll get. Um, so I'm, I'm actually out tanked. Yeah, but really? but uh, yeah, yeah, Charlie has more tanks than me, but I have better tanks. And I have a and I have a big gun that you have to definitely worry about. Tanks. It's definitely a bigger gun than my guns. <laughs> so yeah. Okay, we're going to look forward to that. Of course, that is eleven o'clock uh, Sunday morning GMT. Yeah. But that's not the only uh, live stream we've got. We're going to have another one tomorrow at 2 o'clock, uh, British Standard Time. Uh, what's going to be happening in that one? We're sort of playing generals, I guess, aren't we? Uh, yeah, we're coaches, so we're going to grab two of the guys, um, one of the Brits and, and one of the German players, uh, and myself and John are going to um, uh, commentate slash guide slash call each other horrible names and all that sort of stuff to get everybody excited about it. Wonderful. Now... Of course, with any boot camp, we do like to go overboard when it comes to laying out the tables. If we, if we just stroll along here, John, if you, come, yep, uh, if you can tell us a bit about how how it went to get getting everything set up. Well, give me the mic. Give me the mic. Thank you. <laughs> go away, peasant. Sorry. Right. <laughs> The setup uh, has been really great. The, we've yeah. spent the last three and a half, four weeks on the tables. These ones here, not so bad because we had a lot of the materials here. We just had to figure out what our layouts were going to be and how dense we wanted the terrain to be on these tables. Uh, the other row, which is over here, Mr. Cameraman, again, very similar using what we had. And then towards the back, we have these beautiful foreground buildings that we've done up to be a uh, sort of a ruin to brook. This is a range that has been launched because we asked them if they could recolor some of their Stalingrad stuff, and they went, never worry about it. We'll just create a new range and send you a bunch of it over. All right. <laughs> it, uh, it looks fantastic. That turned out really well, especially with the airbrushing work we did on it as well. Uh, some of these tables here in particular, we, um, I basically uh, annoyed Charlie until he said, yes, I'll send you some stuff. And what he sent was some... Uh, sort of miscast the stuff that usually goes to the bin in a in a factory and we've painted that up to look like abandoned vehicles wrecked vehicles so there's a bit of that spread across all these tables as well just to add a bit of character and a bit of narrative to them however the tables that everyone really wants to talk about because i want to talk about them so clearly everyone else wants to talk about them are the trench tables these two six by fours that we put together using upholstery foam Lots of sand, about four and a half liters of PVA glue, uh, because we didn't realize how absorbent uh, upholstery foam was until we started putting it down, and then realized we need a lot more than what we had. So, and a lot of sandbags. We also made the sandbags out of modeling clay. Again, it's in the vlogs on backstage. I think we made somewhere in the region of four to five hundred of them, uh, which was mad. <laughs> that was an entire week on its own. Uh, but these tables turn out really great, and we hope to see a lot of very interesting fighting going in through the trenches and up over the top into gun emplacements and stuff like that. Do you like? Would you like the mic back now? I would like. Give, <laughs> give, me, give me that mic. That's my mic. Yeah. It follows you around uh, as you carry the mic. Yeah. Yeah. That that's my job. I am mic holder this weekend. That is what I do. But yeah. These are beautiful tables, and hopefully we'll be getting a closer look at each of them later on in the weekend. Now. Before we uh, let you both carry on at seeing what's going on with the gaming, there is one very important thing we have to announce. 
if you want to be in with a chance to get hold of some of these fantastic Desert War armies, all you have to do is drop some comments on the live blogs here at ontabletop.com, and you could be in with a chance of winning one of three awesome bolt action bundles. Western Desert themed starter set for bolt action. So if you and a friend want to get into the, the Western Desert uh, and get 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 involved in the uh, the boot camp, stick a comment below. Yeah, is yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Stick a comment. Just below. somewhere down below us right now. Cool, cool. Yeah. So, uh, can you tell us some of the stuff they might yeah, get in? You're going to get a bit of uh, a bit of the Eighth Army, uh, a bit of the DAC. Um, there's uh, we said an M3 uh, as well as Panzer III. Uh, all the dice that you need, all the books that you need to get started with bolt action. So whether you're brand new to it or you're an existing player, there's anything you could need in there. Excellent. Okay, guys, if you want to get in with a chance to win those, just drop a comment down below here at ontabletop.com. We're going to carry on. Be sure to keep an eye on the live vlogs. We'll be blogging all weekend. Visit ontabletop.com and comment on every day of the bolt action boot camp for your chance to win one of three awesome bolt action bundles.